All right. I got a lead on my nephew, Lem. He's been in county jail since the raid, but I got word he's about to be moved to high security at Sisica. Interesting timing, wouldn't you say? Just as I get off my deathbed? Still, probably our only chance to get him out. Now, the reason I heard is the law's moving another feller down to Sisica tomorrow. A Weasley money launderer by the name of Stan Reardon. And we'll be transferring him onto Lamb's convoy at some point on the route. I digress. I don't give a damn about Reardon. But if you can track down those lawmen, find out where the transfer's taking place, hopefully you can get the jump on them. Just stay sharp. You did good with Marcel. Get me Lem, too. You'll be well on your way to proving yourself. Hold on to the transfer document until we meet up with the Sisica convoy. Wouldn't want our route falling into the wrong hands. But when we get to drop this oh. fellow on the Sisica convoy. Oh, come on. I'm being good as gold here. I ain't sure. Old Briggs over there likes to keep the transfer document close to his chest. Make him feel more. Hey, I. Can I get it? I can make sure you're very well looked after, I promise. Come on, then. 
I assume you didn't kill all those failures just to leave me in here. Oh, shit! Do I know you? What's happening? I 
I mean, thanks, stranger, but why are you doing this? Oh, Maggie, she is alive. Oh, thank God. Am I glad to see you? Move in, man. Take them down. No, it's revenue, man. The bastards must have been tailing us. What the hell? Well, this sure wasn't how I thought today was gonna turn out. Aunt Maggie. <laughs> I don't believe it. I mean, part of me always held some hope, and there'd been rumors. But that's why they decided to move me to Sisica. Figured if she was alive, it might be the one thing to draw her in. Guess they were right. <laughs> Problem is, they always did underestimate Aunt Maggie. Tough don't even begin to describe her. But, hey, you probably know this already. She controlled the moonshine business in Lemoyne for years. Until the government sent in that bastard Reed Hickson. Most ruthless feller I ever crossed paths with. He doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't curse, but he is pure evil. The other revenuers we could handle, but once Hickson was after us, 
We just couldn't get off the back foot. Kept moving from place to place, but it, it was only a matter of time before he caught up with us at one of the cookhouses. Still makes me shiver just remembering it. They trussed her up, blew up the still, and threw her inside there to fry. I couldn't do nothing but watch as they held me back. The flames just kept getting higher. Whole place started caving in. I swear, it's the only time I've ever seen Hickson smile. Burning a woman alive. Probably got a medal for her, too. The last thing I see is they're dragging me away. Danny Lee, hiding in the trees, just looking on. In jail, I heard they tried for months to hunt him down, but he must have found some protection. Always did have a knack of slithering his way into holes, that snake. Aunt Maggie! You're late. Aunt Maggie, I can't believe it. Oh, I don't die so easy. I, I didn't know if you were... I know. But we're here now. And I am going to make it right. All of it. Le mon ami! <laughs> are you okay? Marcel. Oui, c'est moi. What are you doing here? Oh, how charming. Lots oh. changed, Lem. Can I get you some soup or... Perhaps something stronger, huh? Marcel, put him in my room for now. But of course. Come on, then. I miss this old place. Get some sleep. We got a lot of catching up to do. Thank you for this. He's a dope sometimes, but he has all I got. Go down and grab yourself a drink. I'll make sure you get an extra cut out of my side of the business. You've earned it. What are you waiting for? The rest you can remove yourself.